Hey everyone, just taking a drive to Costco to pick up some keto and carnivore snacks and meals and stuff and thought I'd make a video. <clears throat> uh, I've been back now from my vacation to Phoenix, Arizona for probably, you know, about three weeks now. And um, yeah, I, uh, I've lost the... 16 or so pounds I put on when I went keto down there so doing a lot better feeling more normal again kind of took a while to transition back from keto to carnivore and feel normal again um, recently I think what's been helping me to you know get the weight back down so quickly is uh, I've been using some exercise bands and everything is really expensive these days, so I bought some exercise bands on uh, Temu, Timu, Temu, whatever you call it, Temu.com. There's an app for it. Um, you can get like a full set of uh, bands, you know, bands like yellow, red, blue, uh, and you know, each one's a different weight, you know, weight size and uh, weight strength and you can combine them together, make them pretty heavy. Uh, I got a full set of those on Temu for $11, which I couldn't find them for as many as you got for like a full set that you can exercise with. I could not find any that were that cheap for what you get. Uh, I don't remember where they started on Amazon. They may have started at like $20, and that's for like for less less bands not as much weight on the bands but um, I can put a link to the exact ones that I got pin that comment to this video but I feel like those have really helped to keep the weight down uh, you know burn a few extra calories I've been trying really hard to stay in a calorie deficit uh, even though usually on carnivore I just eat as much as I want usually but I've been trying to make sure that I stay in a calorie deficit uh, and, you know, just trying to, to break past that plateau. You know, I've gone from 285 to 233 and I just cannot seem to break into the 220s at all or even get to 230. 233 seems to be where my body says, nope, this is the plateau, we're going to stay here. So... Um, I've either got to increase the intensity of the exercise or go lion diet or do something, you know, I don't know. I think it's a 200 for how tall I am. I'm 6'2", so for being 6'2", 44 years old, uh, you know, 200 pounds would make me nice and trim. I don't feel like that would be too skinny. I think my brother's six one and he's like one ninety something, one ninety three. So and he's he looks like he's in good shape. So yeah, uh, that's my goal. Still working towards the goal of two hundred pounds. So uh, oh, I also got an app called Fit On. I believe it's called Fit On. I just downloaded it. It was recommended to me uh, as one of the only truly free one of the only. I mean, Nike does have a Nike Fitness Club, and I think Adidas has a running app by uh, Run Fanatics, or I don't remember what it's called, but uh, Nike and Adidas have a free app, but uh, it looks like this Fit On is what I've been looking for, because there's so many, like, Freeletics? That's not free. No, there's so many of them that aren't free. They're like, they get your hopes up, and they're like, what's your here's your BMI, like, you know, what are you trying to achieve here and everything, and then, you know, you're hoping that you can use it for free or test it out for free or, like, uh, you know, maybe just watch some ads or something, but then that's not the case. It's, like, immediately goes to a splash page, like, buy a $100, $200 plan. I understand they have to get paid and everything, but, like, I was looking for a free one because I don't know if I'd like it. I don't know if I'd stick with it, you know, so... Yeah, give uh, Fit On a try, and Temu, if you need some good bands, I like these bands, they're working pretty well, so. 
All right, everyone, I'm going to go into Costco and grab my stuff. Um, oh, another thing I was going to talk about. You know, uh, my brother tore both of his rotator cuffs on his shoulder. So the reason I was talking about fitness bands is some of us over 40, you know, don't really have the urge to go into a gym and hurt ourselves. I mean, I'm a beginner in every aspect when it comes to going to a gym. Some of those machines, I just look at them like, I don't know if I'm doing this right, you know? And uh, I don't know. My brother told me this, though. It's kind of funny, kind of not. <laughs> he said, if I could go back in a time machine and kick myself in the nuts as hard as I could before I drove to the gym that day when I tore both of my rotator cuffs, you know, and saved myself all the physical therapy and potential surgery that who knows they're looking at. So, uh, yeah, he said I would do it in a heartbeat. You know, I would go back and stop myself from ever going to the gym that day or ever going again, really, you know, when it comes to, uh, I don't know. My brother and I have an all or nothing mentality and I struggle with that. You know, if I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna have a protein shake in one hand and I'm gonna max out that day or I'm gonna try and do way more than I did last time and, you know, I have a habit of being pretty sedentary and then being like, okay, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna work out really, really hard. And it doesn't always go well. I get so sore that I feel like I can't physically work out for like two weeks afterward, or, you know, or you risk injury when you haven't been doing any working out and then you're like, all right, I'm gonna jump into it hard. So I feel like the, the bands were a good a good move for me because uh, I doubt I'm gonna hurt myself with these fitness bands, but they are giving me a good workout, so. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.